Based on your guys' request, I've been reviewing energy drinks. Now, some people have asked, hey, what's the ingredient profile look like on these? And understand that many of these energy drinks aren't designed to be a pre-workout. They're just meant to give you additional energy. So I never go in depth into the ingredient panel because there's just not much there to add value to working out with the exception of one RTD. And that is Sebum Thavage. Now this is a true pre-workout RTD. Looking at the price, this cost me about $4, so it makes it not cost effective at all. In fact, very low score on price. But this is the first RTD I've seen that is very, very similar to his own pre-workout powder that you can buy. So for pump, they give you six grams of pure citrulline. For endurance, they give you 3.2 grams of beta alanine. For strength, they give you 2.5 grams of betaine and hydrous, and another two grams of taurine. And they give you an additional one gram of agmatine salt for additional pump. Now for energy, they give you 260 milligrams of caffeine and hydrous. They're gonna give you 64 milligrams of dicaffeine malate. So a little bit of a slow release caffeine. They give you 150 milligrams of L-theanine to kind of level out the playing field. Then they give you 60 milligrams of bitter orange, 10% synephrine, which is an intense energy ingredient. They finish it off with 25 milligrams of estrogen for absorption and 100 micrograms of Hooperzine A for additional focus. Right now, this is the only RTD on the market that really gives you everything you need to find in a pre-workout. So with that, let's give it a flavor test and see where it's at. So I got blue raspberry here. It's got some heavy dyes in it. It's like bright blue. <laughs> they figured out how to squeeze all the ingredients into a, a ready to drink, but definitely have to like choke it down. Whew. I guess if you're looking for convenience, go for it, but I would just stick to powders, guys. 